So this is a practice where it's very experiential. You use both the physical body as well as meditation to essentially elevate every aspect of your own human sensory system. So it's been a decade now and I'm um, now also a Kundalini Yoga teacher and passing on this lineage of teaching that really helps advance humanity and helps people live happier, brighter lives. My name is Hadi Shabad Khalsa and we're here in my Crystal Lotus studio. I'm a teacher of Kundalini Yoga and I also complement my practice with crystals and utilizing that modality for healing and we're here in Santa Monica, California. You know, I lived a pretty traditional American life, you know, um, went through college, worked through the corporate rank and file, you know, um, and I really was just looking for a way to, I think, kind of ground myself and kind of um, clear some of this underlying stress that's always resident you know within just like you wake up in the morning you just wake up already with a sort of underlying current of stress in you and wanting a way to like access a better part of myself and so it was in that intention that um i came across someone who introduced me to kundalini yoga and I really just expected it to be a yoga class, your typical postural yoga class. But I ended up really in, in the living room of a master teacher of Kundalini Yoga who took us through a series of breaths, took us through a series of postures, took us through a series of sound as he played the gong and um, played mantra through our practice and then put us into a meditation and it was in that moment that I realized that you could really transcend a frequency within yourself and arrive at a new energetic location and from that burst of energy start to radically and exponentially shift the experiences you bring into your life. And so once I had an experience of that, it became something that I knew was worthwhile for me to continue to practice on and continue to explore. And it really has just been this beautiful path of, um, of enlightenment. It's been this beautiful path of healing. It's been a beautiful path of sharing and community with others. And um, it's just all designed to help people have a much happier life. You know, when you see the crystals, when you see the yoga, um, in this technology, this is a householder technology. So it's not monastic. It's not designed to be only delivered to monks or nuns or whatever the case may be. It's designed to create peace in the household. It's a householder technology taught in just spaces like this, one person at a time, you know, moving that technology forward, right? So this is not something that you want to think of in linear terms like information. We're an information-based society. We get on the internet, we can access any kind of information that we want. I want you to begin to consider that we're now moving into a space where it's about energy, it's about intuition. It's not about tapping into all information. It's about downloading exactly what you need when you need it. But you've got to tune your frequency up so that you can tap in almost to that super consciousness level you know, beyond yourself. And so I, when, when we teach Kundalini, we, we teach the yoga so that um, you can learn it through the experience of it, not because I'm gonna give you a lot of information about it. What I've seen most profoundly now is, is my acceptance of this, of my call to I think serve. So my acceptance of the duty to help others heal to help others have an experience of their own happiness, to, um, to serve. And in that process, it allows me to open up more devotional spaces within myself. And um, that just becomes part of, of, of what you have to give someone, you know. So, and you know, Kundalini Yoga is not religion. It's not a religion. It's the practice. It's a practice and a science of um, technology that was designed for the human energy system. So if you want, if you're Jewish, if you're Christian, if you're Muslim, if you're any of the other religions out there, you can approach them with more capacity which creates a greater sense of devotion and experience of whatever that may be.
And I just want people to know out there that, you know, you can have great lives. This can make it better. You can have lives that have gone off a little, gone off track a little. This can quickly bring you back into alignment. You can have lives where maybe you're very artistic, but you haven't found a way to really truly paint the paintings you want or make the music that you want. And this can give you the prana and the energy to help sustain that creative activity. There's something for everyone in this practice, you know. Expand your awareness of yourself and enjoy more of your own beautiful energy field and just get in community with others who are just creating happy healing spaces. Satnam.